Hi, my name is Elisa Pomari. I am a PhD student at Universidade Estadual de Campinas, Unicamp. I'm going to talk about the industry and businessmen of the state of Sao Paulo at the turn of the century by analyzing the Revista Industrial. The translation would be Industrial Magazine, but I'm going to use the original name, Revista Industrial. The Revista Industrial, or Industrial Magazine, is an album of the state of Sao Paulo that was created between 1899 and 1900 to represent the state at the 1900th Universal Exhibition in Paris. And today, it is a part of the Paulistas Museum Library Collections. The album consists of 85 pages of big proportions. They have 45 by 57 centimeters and they are leather covered. It is a unique piece and is accompanied by a wooden packaging box whose interior is covered by green and yellow velvet, representing a simplified graphic form of the Brazilian flag. Although some publications indicate that it was an initiative of Sao Paulo's companies, a recent research by Matheus Pavla de Moura Leite points out that the album was the result of a larger project entitled Album Brasileiro, or Brazilian Album, or Album dos Estados, or Album of the States. The idea was to create a complete collection of albums, one of each state, that showed their economical activities as well as their infrastructure. In doing so, it advertised simultaneously that the states had a modernized economics and yet had appeal for potential investors. It's likely that Jules Martin, the man that you see uh, in the center of the image, was chosen as the local representative of the publication in Sao Paulo. Martin was a French lithographer and owned a position as a broadcaster and articulator of the region's commercial and industrial business. He also had an intense participation in the production of the album, illustrating with watercolors of his authors a large number of pages. As we are going to see in the next photos, the album is largely occupied by photographs disposed one by one or in groups of four per page. And it's also fulfilled with Martin's art in announces that mixes photographs uh, of the business and watercolors. We can see the structure of the city of Sao Paulo here. And we, here we can see the four photographs pages. Regarding the structure of the album, it contains three types of sheets or pages. Those that act as album of views of the larger cities of the state, like Sao Paulo and Campinas. Those which work as advertisements for commercial, industrial and financial establishment. And there are also a few pages dedicated to the presentation of specific institutions that wanted to financially support the initiative and to indicate their presence in the state or at the exhibition, such as Historical and Geographical Institute, the Masonic Organization, and the Spanish Center in Santos. At the commercial ad pages, we can observe a variation of the ad sizes as well as the diverse natures of business showed. They, vary, they varied from commercial houses, hotels, stores, factories, banks. There are even photographs of studios, photographic studios ads. But the structure of publicity is very similar, portrayed through photographs of or engravings that expose external views of establishments. Part of the interior where it's possible to see machinery, in the case of the factories, and the merchandise in showcase. The adornments and watercolors contain essential information, such the name of the company and its owners, their address, telephone number, mailbox, plus factory or product attributes. In the case of establishments where there were no physical products, such as hotels and banks, the images emphasized the facade and gave more space to the text. Thus, through pages with a strong visual appeal, 
it was possible to know and recognize the place where the establishment was located, its qualities, magnitude and modernity, as well as practical contact information. On the other hand, the ads that acquired fractions of the pages, like this one, contain at the most one graphic image, usually the facade of the establishment, and counted on symbolic images of the service or illustration of the products accompanied by essential information. Them, especially those that occupied the smallest fraction of the grid, like this one, were practically a card of the establishment that was attached to the album. The album was also divided by cities. First, the cities were presented and they were followed by their commercial, industrial and service establishment especially in the case of Sao Paulo and Campinas. It also has a large number of photos depicting houses of figures of economic and often political importance. But in the part of the album dedicated to the city of Campinas, like this photo here, seven pages are completely dedicated to images of important people's houses. This can be explained by the position of the city in relation to the state economy. Whilst the pages related to the city of Sao Paulo abound ads of banks, hotels, commercial houses of various natures, in the Campinas pages there are few ads for commercial houses or service. Only five establishments. So they are followed by images of residences belonging to personalities linked it to the coffee production. About the images related to the city of Santos, like this one that you're now seeing, they seem to be an initiative not of the municipality or local industrial or commercial representatives, but only of the Compañía das Docas, the port company of Santos. Due to time, we won't be able to talk a lot about the, this study that is a very famous study about uh, a list, an uh, inventory of Sao Paulo's industry at the beginning of the 20th century. Um, it shows that industrial magazine was a very limited enterprise. Here, Bandera Junior, that is the, the person that carried out this inventory, listed 145 industrial establishments. And we have around 20 that is shown at Revista Industrial. This may be understood both by the participation of Martin, that was a commercial and a representative of the commercial business at the city of Sao Paulo, but it also due to the lack of representative institution for the industrialists. And there are several affirmations that industrial establishment owners were suspicious that given information about their businesses could lead to inspection by the public authorities, even if such initiatives as Revista Industrial and the industry at the state, in the state of Sao Paulo in at the beginning of the 20th century were not taken by the state government. We can also begin to think about the meaning of the term industry in this specific context. At Revista Industrial and even in the Bandera Juniors inventory, we can see that many uh, commercial establishments were called industry. Even flower shops uh, were class classified as industry by Bandera Junior. But extracted activities carried out in Amazonas and Pará, that are states of the north of Brazil, wasn't classified as industry. We can see the building of uh, regionalism that explained to us that classified the South 
of the country as industrialized as the north of the country, the country is agricultural. As a final observation, Revista Industrial and its visual narrative will stimulate investments and products not only for its collaborators, but also for the state and possibly the whole country. In this initiative, the role of individuals and private organizations was central, but in the following decades, the elaboration of this modernity narrative with the goal of attracting investments and the strategies for such elaboration will, gradually, uh, will be gradually appropriated by the public authorities and seen as their responsibility. However, it's interesting to note that the album a century or more after its creation remains an element of construction of industrial discourse. It also restages the intricate relations between these associations and the public authorities, sometimes seen as suspicious and other times as guaranteed. Thank you.